If I look back, I sometimes wonder where did my life go? I grew up in Juarez, Mexico, a place that I called home up until the age of five until I came to the United States. When I graduated high school, I decided to join the United States Marine Corps. First was recruit training. This was the first step. While it was very challenging, I accomplished that mission and became a United States Marine. This was something that I enjoy so much that I made it a career. I went through so many challenges, but the main ones were all the deployments that I was sent to. It all started back on March 20th, 2003, when I was deployed to Kuwait in preparation for the invasion into Iraq. After that, three more to Iraq, and then finally my last deployment in 2010 to Afghanistan. There's nothing like playing IED hopscotch every day and simply trying not to die to be able to come home. Losing your Marines is never easy, but this one really affected me. Like everything in life, things have to come to an end. It was over 20 years of service. And even though I had earned many awards throughout my years, trained so many Marines from the time at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in San Diego, California. And all the Marines at the Marine Corps Detachment in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. It was a bittersweet moment when it all came to an end after so many years. This is when the issues began. I was a completely different person. It was like night and day. I continued to have nightmares and it seemed that I always found myself wanting to go back to Afghanistan. I started taking medication to help me sleep, but it turned me into a zombie, and I just sat there, and I didn't want to do anything. I even went as far as smoking medical marijuana to try to help, but I had no luck. It was like I had a demon inside, a very dark demon that wanted to keep me trapped and it wasn't letting me go. I found myself drinking every single day. I started to refocus my time into photography. Here I was used to shooting guns every day and I was trading that in to shooting in a whole different way. I picked up a camera and I started taking pictures of simple things that caught my attention. I started looking to see if I could possibly get a certificate, training, something that would allow me to learn better techniques with my camera. That is when I found the Academy of Art University. I learned everything from setting up lights, using my environment, anything to make my images better. Now, I have a studio in my home, and I take pictures from newborn babies to couples, families. This really opened up a lot of opportunities, and my focus was in creating a form of art. I was able to travel to San Francisco to receive my diploma for my Associate of Arts in Photography. But then I started to think that I could keep going. So I enrolled in the Bachelor of Fine Arts program and I graduated in May of 2020 with my Bachelor's in Fine Arts. 
Since then, I have entered many competitions. A lot of my pictures have placed here in the Yuma County in Yuma, Arizona. But it wasn't until 2019 that I entered a self-portrait of myself that won the County Fair Grand Champion Award for 2019. What a great accomplishment. And now I have transformed from the active duty Marine that suffers from PTSD to a well-known photographer in my community. The PTSD has not gone away. It's still there. But now I understand that I have to realize what triggers those memories. What will set it off? Because of that, I can live my life in a better place and I am able to enjoy life every day with my family.